Hello, in today's session I will show you how easy it is to install uh, command of VM, command VM in OCI. So, first step that I need to do is to go to my menu, click on compute, go to instances and create my first Windows machine yeah, that will be used for that. So, I'll click, click, create instance, I will name it commando VM, I don't care where it is installed. Okay, I will not change anything with the security, but I will change the uh, yeah the OS system, and I'll click Windows, and I will select Windows 2019 for this machine. Okay, standard edition. I will accept yeah the licensing terms, and I will update the number of CPUs to at least two for this because I plan to install also other uh, attack uh, options in there. One nice thing yeah, that you're gonna see it in here on the right is the cost estimation part yeah, that will tell me how much this instance will uh, uh, will cost on the you know, CI. Okay, so now in here I will select also the VCN where I want to install it because I want to make it also in a private uh, VCN. I will select the private subnet that I have in here. I don't need the public IP address. The credential will appear at the end. Other thing that I want to do from the beginning is to increase the size of the uh, yeah, boot volume of the OS volume yeah, to 150 GB and maybe give you some more uh, VPUs. Yeah, increase a little bit the GPU performance. Okay, so in here everything it is enabled i want to do also another thing in here i want to enable the vulnerability scanner for that instance from the beginning and that's it i have to pay create now it's going to take a few more minutes here for uh, this instance to be created and after that i will ssh directly to it so i will pause it until it's the provisioning is finished and continue from that point i have se selected the windows server 2019 as the os Mandian says that you need to have a Windows 10, but this works perfectly as in the backend. Yeah, it's the same uh, yeah, platform. It looks like that the instance yeah, was created. I will take the private IP of the machine. I'll copy it. I'll open my here I'll create a new session yeah on mobile turn this time it's gonna be an RTP one yeah remote host is that OPC is the machine and now I'll press OK okay it's asking me for the user OPC password okay now I need to go back in here yeah it is the initial password that I'll copy it I'll put it in here and now windows will ask me to change the password before signing in i'll put the new password in here okay but i need to also enter this old password manually so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this on right in here so i'll be able to copy it manually Okay, so I written okay. So now I will go up. Yeah, I increase this, and now I'm connecting to that machine. Before starting installation of uh, Commando VM, it is recommended to disable uh, antivirus. Yeah, for that, what I can do, I can go to policies. Yeah, group policies. In here, you need to look at the computer configuration part yeah on the left yeah I'll increase a little bit this one okay in here you have some administrative templates you press on the yeah, on the arrow and in here you need to go to windows components and in windows components search for microsoft defender antivirus yeah so Yeah, 
Windows Defender Antivirus, okay. So in here, you see, turn off Windows Defender Antivirus. Yeah, double click on it. Yeah, select Disable. Press Apply, okay. Let's reboot the instance. So that will apply. And we'll continue after uh, yeah, the machine starts. I'll pause it again. Okay, the machine has restarted. So now what I can do, I can uh, go to install maybe Chrome or Firefox. Yeah, so let's search for it. Yeah, because Internet Explorer has many requirements or even Edge. Yeah, so I'll install an additional browser for this. I will accept the browser request. Save it, run it. started I can go to this start without syncing my data continue without using confirm and start browsing so now what I need to do I need to go to github com slash fire I and in here commando minus yeah forgot an M here okay so I have this one yeah this is the page even if it is an older image yeah, as you can see in here the commits and so on yeah the image is working fine I will download the zip on my computer okay. I'll wait for it to finish I can go to downloads now it's finished I will extract this one Okay, now I need to start a PowerShell and I'll start this one Windows PowerShell as administrator. It's really important to be administrator on this. Okay, after this is uncompressed, I go to the folder. I copy the full path of it. Okay, I'll go in here, change directory, go to that folder now. Okay, other thing that is important is to set execution policy what okay yeah set execution policy you can press tab yet to autocomplete unrestricted press enter okay i agree with this okay and now what i need to do is to start the installation script that you see it in here install and i will do that by running this command dot slash install ts1 okay and press enter i agree with everything and i press r yeah, instead of y now there are certain uh, things that needs to be done in the back end yeah so they are asking this and i did this before yes yeah, so the windows defender was done so i will not need to do that is doing again the checking as you can see the OS uh, system it is uh, supported okay I have 60 GB I will increase it later yeah because I want more of this so it's more than enough for this point do you need to take a snapshot yeah no because this is a new image and I don't need anything else now I need to enter my administrator account password yeah the one that we set it at the beginning for the OPC user okay and after that the installation will start as you can see this is 100% unintended uh, installation and it will need to restart the machine multiple times okay so that's why I will pause it via yeah, the recording I will uh, resume it from time to time yet yeah, to see uh, what's happening 
usually takes uh, more than 30 minutes yet to do this type of installation so that's why we'll not stay to see everything but uh, yeah from time to time I will uh, give you more hints okay thank you see you later as you can see on Twispedia some initial um, installation were done yeah so chocolatey was installed so they started adding additional th things in here okay until this is finished and my first restart is required yeah i can do another thing i can go to um uh, yeah to the os yeah to the folder yeah that we have in here so let me go to this pc first right click and in here manage and what i'm gonna do is to see okay yeah we have utc we'll leave it on here for now well yeah as you can see starting installation multiple times if an error comes yeah they'll go forward or will create certain things. I'll post again and wait for the things needed to be installed. So after the first uh, restart, yeah, they continued automatically to install the needed uh, applications. Okay, the only thing that you need to do is to connect the RDP to the machine and wait for it to, to continue. So the installation is still in progress, so it took a sometimes so we still we need to wait so now i have one error from the as you can see on screen so what i can try again i can reload it but it will not uh, give me this so i will abort and it should continue yeah from that point Usually 95%, at least 95% of the applications that are in uh, command of Yom are installed automatically. Others, yeah, you can install them manually after that. as you can see yeah after the restart and so on with uh, that command it started to continue the installation for products that are not installed yeah for the ones that are in there can i tell you that config already in there 
and after that yeah we'll continue from last uh, prompt that was not successful they will try everything until that point and you need to wait for it okay abort if this error appears to you again abort and it will continue with the next program and restart it again okay as you can see in here in the back end yeah we have changed yeah it was changed at yeah, the background so that means it is up to date the installation to it okay so now what we can do we can go and we can give another try maybe to update the uh, this installation yeah so to do that you can go to the page yeah, of uh, command of vm or you can go on uh, learn oci.cloud commando okay how to deploy ims microsoft windows tag vm and at the end it is the command yeah this one and you can use it to update it to latest version okay and to start also to the update of the yeah all software that was installed on this machine so congratulations you have commando vm installed your on your machine so you can start playing with uh, attacks in oci thank you for watching